subscribe like the video if you like it and share it to a friend think you might need it this video was requested by someone down in the comments so if you have a song you would like me to do let it down in the comments and i'll check it out so for the song the guitar is going to be in standard tuning and your strings are going to be in open strings so we don't need a capo the first thing you're going to play is going to be an e flat then e flat is going to be a fifth string six five four string eight five third string eight five second string eight five first string six five and it's strung down twice then you're gonna go to an F chord, play that one's gonna be 5th string, 8th fret, 4th string, 10th fret, 3rd string, 10th fret, 2nd string, 10th fret, 1st string, 8th fret. Just drum down twice here as well. And then you play that pattern 3 times. So 1, 2, 3. And then after the 3rd time, you just drum down on the E flat. And then go into the verse. So show me pattern for the song, it's gonna be strumming each chord down 4 times. So we start with an E flat, one, two, three, four, and then you play that one more time, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then you go to a A flat, to play an A flat chord is going to be 6th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 5th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret, 1st string, 4th fret, play the same drumming pattern that you just played for the E flat, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then go to the F. You play the strumming pattern here once. So one, two, three, four. And then you go to a B flat. So play B flat is gonna be six string, six fret, fifth string, eighth fret, fourth string, eighth fret, third string, seventh fret, second string, sixth fret, first string, sixth fret. Strum down here four times. Right? One, two, three, four. And then you go back to E flat. One, two, three, four. And then you beat the strumming pattern one more time. One, two, three, four. So this is how the first sounds like. That's going to be 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 6th fret, 1st string, 4th fret. Then play a C chord. Play a C chord is going to be 6th string, 8th fret, 5th string, 10th fret, 4th string, 10th fret, 3rd string, 9th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret, 1st string, 8th fret. Strum downwards. And then you go to uh, B flat. And then strum downwards there as well. And you beat that pattern 3 times. So, one. Two, three, and then on the fourth time you start out the same way. So start with the A flat, D flat, C, but then you go to a uh, B chord. To play B chord is gonna be sixth string, seventh fret, fifth string, ninth fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, eighth fret, seventh string. 7th fret, 1st string, 7th fret, strum down and then you go down to the B flat that you've been playing strum down once there as well or you can strum down whichever one you want and then go on to the next verse next verse is going to be played the same way you played the previous verse then go on to the next chorus chorus is going to be played the same way you played the previous chorus then you go to like the little solo slash instru instrumental part that part is played the same way you put the verse and then you go on to the next verse and that verse played the same way with the previous verse go on to the last chorus 
chorus is going to be played the same way you played the previous chorus, but you're going to play it twice. This chorus should repeat everything twice, so. That's the fourth time. And this is the second time around, repeating the whole thing. is pretty much going to play the same way you play the verse and that's pretty much how the whole song sounds like so it's how the whole thing sounds like all together Sort of like to see next, and I'll see you next time.